Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show y'all how to make uh, homemade sugar water for your bees. And this is the easiest and best recipe, and it really works well. This is a one-to-one -one mixture for spring to help them build their uh, comb and their hive. And um, super easy. We're going to do two gallons, so let's get at it. The first thing that you're going to need is um, two four-pound bags of sugar. You can see that that is four pounds, so that's eight pounds. And water is roughly about eight pounds per gallon. So we're doing a one-for-one one here. Uh, one, gallon of, one gallon of water to eight pounds of sugar. This is really, really good. Uh, it gives the bees their uh, the vitamins and the essential oils and everything that they need. And it smells really good. When you use this stuff, the, uh, the mint smell it puts in your house is just awesome. This one here, you can find on Amazon a lot cheaper than you can find at your bee places. And here's the mixing instructions. So we're doing a gallon. So it has a thing for sprayer. If you want to use the sprayer, like if you're going to get bees or if you're feeding. So we're doing uh, one gallon. So it's going to be four to eight teaspoons of this. So, and of course you need your funnel. Got our funnel and our measuring spoons. Picked up these at a garage sale. Still have the tag on them for 50 cents. And I got a pot. This pot will almost do two gallons, but not quite. So um, I will add a little to it as we go. I like to use um, filtered water uh, that we filtered ourselves in uh, one of these Berkeley Berkey filters that I picked up at the garage sale and put a new filter in. It'll work. And I also like to boil the water once the water gets to boiling for at least two or three minutes to kill all the bacteria or anything that's in the water. You know, bees are very. Uh, you know very easily catch uh, bacterias and different diseases and die so I'll get the water I'll get this thing here filled up with the gallon of water and we'll be right back okay, now that our water is boiling a good rolling boil and it's been boiling for maybe five minutes or so you want to turn it off and once you turn it off while the water is extremely hot you want to add your sugar so let me pour my two four pound bags of sugar in here. As you're putting your sugar in, you want to make sure that the fire is off because you don't want your sugar burning. So I'll put that sugar in there. Sorry about the steam. That's the first bag. And I'm just going to stir it till it dissolves. I'm going to stir it till it dissolves. I'm going to put the second bag in there. Okay, I got the second bag of sugar in there. You can see it's already starting to clear up a little bit. And it's going to take a couple of hours for this pot to cool. So I'm going to just let it sit here with the lid on it and let it cool for a couple of hours. And also I wanted to tell you, when you buy y'all sugar, make sure that you check the ingredients on your sugar sometimes they will add um, beet sugar to it and you want it to say let's get it to focus ingredients cane sugar that's all that's in this is cane sugar you don't want nothing else you don't want no beets or beet sugar added or corn syrup sugar or anything like that just pure sugar so I will see y'all in a couple of seconds, but for me, it'll be a couple of hours, and we'll be back. Right, our next step, the water, and the sugar water has cooled, kind of has a little bit of a goldish tint to it, but it's kind of cooled down pretty good. So the next step is, we're going to add our Honey Bee Healthy to the jug, and, um... It calls again for one gallon is going to be four to eight teaspoons. So we know that a tablespoon 
is three teaspoons. So there's the tablespoon. We're gonna put our Honey Bee Healthy, try to do this one handedly. Hold on. So I got uh, one tablespoon, just pour it in there. And the smell of this stuff here is amazing. Your whole house will smell a little minty. So, try to do that again. Not quite a full tablespoon. Put that in there. And there's, it's kind of a thick, you can see it kind of builds up. So what I like to do is I like to go to my uh, sugar water that's on the stove and just kind of give that a little rinse off. We're going to wash it, but I want to try to get all the uh, Honey Bee Healthy because it is, it is a little bit expensive. It's like $30 for that uh, 16 ounces. So now... What I want to do is, since this jug is very full, I'm going to move it over here to the counter. So give me a second. So I like to use these old plastic McDonald's cups. And I kind of squeeze it together where it puts a little point right here. It makes it easier to, to pour. And we'll kind of squeeze it like that. And I'll scoop this pot as close to the sink as I can because it will drip on you. And... Just fill it up and pour it in. Try not to make a mess. Because this will get everything sticky. And when I get this jug about half full, I will cap it and shake it really good so all of that honey bee healthy bee vitamins will, um, will get mixed in really well. So I will fill this up just like this and I'll be right back. Now we have two gallons of sugar water mixed one to one with Honey Bee Healthy. And I like to use these old jugs that Teresa uses when she does her canning. These had vinegar in them and uh, vinegar is uh, not bad or anything. So I, I use extremely hot water and wash them out really well. And But I have two gallons of sugar water with honey bee healthy and we're going to go out there and i'll show you how i feed my bees all right so here we are uh, these bees right here are the ones i'm feeding uh, at the moment so i have two boxes for the bees and this box is actually an empty box so you can see this right here is called the inner cover and i have that and i have two feeders in there sitting right on top of the inner cover and a little piece of comb in there and that's how I feed my bees and I do that you can use those those feeders I have to put on the front of the box here but that promotes robbing from wild bees and they will definitely come and rob you out so uh I try not to do the uh, entrance feeder anymore. I use the entrance feeder, but I will put it on the inside. You can see we have bees with um, some pollen. There's one going in there. What's well, a good sign? Well, there you go. I hope y'all liked that little tutorial on springtime feeding. The one-to-one -one ratio of sugar water will help them build their comb and uh, feed them as well. Uh, as it gets colder in the fall and the winter, we'll do a two-to-one and even up to a three or four-to-one uh, more sugar versus water. And uh, that helps them stock up for the, um, the winter and get them ready to go. This hive I have, that hive right there is extremely strong and um, they're doing really well. 
All the girls say hello. God bless each and every one of y'all. Tell your loved ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings. And we will talk to y'all later.